Hi folks, my name is Simon Watch, and welcome to the very first episode of the Florida Star Productions Mall Walkthroughs. In this episode of Mall Walkthroughs, we'll do a mall walkthrough of the Pompano Fashion Square, which is commonly known as the Pompano City Center as today, located in Pompano Beach, Florida. Out and about Southwest Florida, and I'm here with Lauren Burford, who is also the marketing director for the Pompano City Center Mall, and we're here and we have tons of things going on. It seems like I just see an event happening all the time here, but can you tell me a little bit more about your mall? Sure, yeah. Pompano City Center is actually more than just a mall. We are an outdoor lifestyle center. Um, we do have your traditional department stores. We have Macy's, J.C. Penney, and Sears, um, but we also have lots of other options like entertainment, dining, and fitness. Uh, so for instance, we have two fitness options here. We have a health club called Pompano Fitness on our second floor. Um, we're also going to be putting in a nine round kickboxing gym, which we're really awesome. excited about. Yeah. Um, and uh, for entertainment, we have monthly events. So for instance, we're gonna be having a big classic car show here in November over Veterans Day weekend. We'll have lots of cars parked throughout the center. Um, we're also having an event for Halloween in just a couple days. Oh, can you tell me a little bit more about what this carousel is? Oh yeah, on? we're so excited about this carousel. Um, we just opened it in September. Um, it only costs a dollar to ride and it's open seven days a week. So we invite all the families to come out and ride it. Well, Lauren, apparently that was the keys to my heart because she just took me to Cold Stone, which is my favorite ice cream store. But apparently it's just one of eight food associations they have here. Can you tell me a little bit more about your food that you have here at the mall? Yeah, sure. Um, Pompano City Center has um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner options. So you can grab a coffee here at Panera Bread. If you want a quick uh, lunch, you can go to Subway for a Subway sandwich. Or if you want a full service restaurant where you want to sit down and relax, we have options like Italian, Mediterranean, uh, steak and seafood. And one of our mo more popular restaurants is called J Mark's Restaurant. Um, and that's where you can get a good steak and seafood dinner. But where can everybody else get your contact information so they can check out everything you have available? Sure, we have an online store directory at pompanocitycenter.com. Uh, we also have Facebook and Twitter accounts. So we invite everybody to, to like us and come check us out. <laughs> Along with this mall walkthrough, we have my beautiful mother, Deborah, who has been here since she was 16 years old. So welcome, everyone. Hi, how are you, everybody? I used to come here when I was 16 years old, actually even a little bit before when we were visiting, but when I moved to Florida. And um, I really liked this mall. It was not too big, not too small, just right. And we... Uh, it was easy to get around. A lot of times it came in the summer when I wasn't at school. Wow, seems like you really had an interesting life there. I, I liked it. It was a fun place to come. It wasn't far. It was a few miles away from my home. And this was before Galleria came and before Broward Mall. So it was, uh, it was the only mall in the area. The Broward before, County area. Yeah, and before Coral Square. Um, so Sawgrass was, Mills and Pembroke Lakes too, right? Yeah, all of them were not around. There wasn't any mall. In the Broward County But area. it was an indoor mall. It wasn't an outdoor mall like it is now. And it was easy to get into, you know, to walk around them like every other mall. Um, this, I feel like this mall that it turned into, it's harder to get to the anchor stores and harder to get around. It's kind of chopped up. Yeah. Bit. It was one level except for one area which was... Um, a, a restaurant called the Purple Pickle, and you took a glass elevator to it. But um, I never ate at the Purple Pickle. Mom. Uh, 
So, I mean, what was the glass elevator like when when this when this mall was originally built? It was in the center of the mall, and it went to a restaurant called the Purple Pickle, and that's all it went to. And now, now it just goes to a secondary set of shops, which I'm assuming is maybe offices. Oh, thank you. Well, you didn't even correct uh, Oh, I'm, 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 I'm uh, documenting this mall also. <laughs> that's good. I want to start documenting. That's a cool camera. Well, thank you. why this mall went downhill in the first place was because of all of those other malls. But the information of this mall is very simple. Pompano Fashion Square opened in 1970, January of 1970. And because of those malls in the Broward County area have opened, people have stopped shopping at this mall. This was the first regional mall in Broward County actually. In 2006, it was reformatted into this format and was renamed to the Pompano City Center. And this is what it is today. When this mall opened, it had four original anchors, which were Burdines, Jordan Marsh, Sears, and J.C. Penney. Then the anchor changes. Jordan Marsh became Mervyn's in 1991 after Jordan Marsh went out of business. And then in 1997, they sold six stores to Dillard's, in the Florida industry of Mervyn's. But then this mall lost its first anchor, which was Dillard's, in 2002 and was demolished in 2003. What you saw with that fan blowing in the background was all was a abandoned Sears. That closed in December of 2018. That currently is also in the process of being demolished. Burdines was rebranded as Macy's in 2005, just like every other Burdines Florida chain. This location is set to close in March of 2020, which is this year and next month. This will leave JCPenney as the remaining anchor left in this mall. This mall was originally developed by a guy named Leonard L. Farber. This place was renamed to Pompano Square and renovated in 1985 to better compete with newer shopping centers in the area. So guys, we're telling you about the properties that have owned this mall currently and uh, which properties have ruined this mall and gave what this mall's look is today. And that company that gave what it is today, what this mall is currently, is Fajon Enterprises Inc. So what the company did was that they bought out this mall, demolished it, and then rebuilt it into this somewhat outdoor mall. And let me just tell you, it doesn't really look as nice as this, just, you know, personally. Also, look at that awning on the JCPenney. You'll see that it just says pennies instead of JCPenney. I find that cool. Those were the old mall days, and now they're gone. And now this mall is currently owned by Sterling Organizations Inc. since 2012. Up these stairs is where JCPenney should be. JCPenney used to be a two-level store, but in 2004 it downsized. They took away the second floor. Currently, the second floor is now a driving license school. And here's a view of it from the interior. And then I backed away from it because I didn't want people looking at me, you know, awkwardly. We are going to go down a dangerous elevator to the right to go into JCPenney. You'll understand what makes this elevator so dangerous and so special.
bait on that other one. I should have on that other one too. Yeah, you're right, Simon. Now we're gonna check out JC Penny with this nice little plaque. JCPenney, we change places. And our places have never looked better. From top to bottom. Front to back. Our stores are easier to shop. Our merchandise is easier to find. And our selection is tougher to resist. We change, we change, we change We change to keep up with you. We work. We play. We get dressed up. And sometimes we don't get dressed at all. We change, we change, we change. We change style and change moods. We take care and take charge. We're a good sport, a great time, and a wonderful surprise. And though we changed our stores from cosmetics to kids, one thing remains the same: our great values. And great values are what make us. Alright, so here we are in JCPenney, in the furniture department, and uh, this wasn't a store you went often when you first moved here. No, I didn't, I didn't go there that much. We'd go once in a while, but we really liked Burdines and Jordan Marsh, and I would shop with my mom a lot, and that's where she liked, so that's where I would kind of go. So once in a while, if we needed something, we thought maybe JCPenney would have it, but most of the time, we really didn't go there that much. We didn't go that much to the Sears either. Yeah. Sears is now closed, by the way. Yeah, I know. The Sears had a weird smell in the popular fashion space. I didn't like it at all. Um, didn't they also have it in other locations, too? Yeah, but the smell was really bad. Popular fashion space. You guys also have to understand that this was a two-level store that became a one-level store. Even though that my mom did not really go here, she still went here, and she does remember it being two floors. Now it's just a one-level anchor with barely any people here. Now here's the Sephora. Now JCPenney has a Sephora in every single store now. That's a rule between JCPenney's where they have a store in a store kind of concept. CEO Ron Johnson has added this um, in where the store inside of store concepts came in. I will also say this, Ron Johnson did kind of make this store kind of go downhill a little bit. JC Pennies. I mean, like, he was meant for doing iPods, not uh, department stores. I mean, but that's past. JC Penny does have some busier locations, like the one at Pembroke Lake Mall, which we will get into very soon. And the two other malls I remember while well growing up here, which were Broward Mall and Aventura Mall. And I kind of do remember JCPenney's at Sawgrass Mills Mall and Sunrise, but that one really didn't do way too well and it closed in 2009. This is more of just like, you know, a location at a dead mall, so it wouldn't be way too busy. But I will say though, this location is definitely, definitely clean. It's uh, not in bad shape. Floor's polished, all the lights are working, it's not really a mess in the store. You know, that kind of jazz. There's just not that many customers, as you see. All right, so we're heading back into the furniture department with this uh, concrete tile, which does run throughout the newer parts of the store. And then there was a uh, older tile which ran throughout the store, most of the store. That I believe is uh, the tile from the 2004 renovation when they took away the second floor. And 
here we go, back out into the mall, and back into that dangerous elevator. going down this wing is where you get to see more and more vacancies. You can see that there are uh, storefronts that say that they need to be occupied by a space. So you call um, the number that is on the window and you can buy out the space. go there in just a moment. Walk-ins welcome. Well, if that was ever a phrase that I said in my days, Also, Florida is more of a tropical state. You can see this like little puddle right here. It's because that it probably rained the previous day, but there is a reason why this should have stayed an indoor mall only if it rained. Here's another elevator. I saw it working a few minutes ago. Maybe the button doesn't light up. Let's take the stairs then. I wonder why my mom said, oh great, for going up the stairs then. As you can see up here, you can see that there are people taunting the elevator. I wonder why. Maybe for inspection or something else. And here's a puddle up here on the third floor. I wonder what it is with puddles at this mall. Okay, so the third floor is basically just... Majority of the things that are up on the third floor are 
vacant. Now there's just barely any stores up there. There are more stores on the second floor, but I mean like, on the third floor there's just like no stores. So I wonder why people would go up here. There are birds on property. There. This, I, 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 I think this one works. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna go to the first floor. Yep, that's the beep. Bad sign. Expiration date, October 8th, 2017. Why is this a bad sign? Well, you know, the thing is though, I don't think a lot of people are going to go over here. I wasn't even born when this mall was a interior mall, but I would suppose maybe they had the carousel at the time, but I don't know. I just suppose. I don't know. Maybe my mom would remember. Now, heading down towards Macy's is actually this wing was actually mostly original to the mall. You look at this mall on the old map and then what it is today on this section is actually what it mostly was originally. This mall was originally. The Sears Mall entrance would be right to the right, and then to the left is where Macy's would be, which we are heading down right now. Now there are more people down this area, mostly because of Macy's closing is probably why. And there are busier stores in this area, too. I mean, there's a Ross, there's a PetSmart, and closing stores. Yeah, I saw a closing store through the window. And here is another entrance into JCPenney. Get another look at the JCPenney plaque. And now we're back on walking. I also did try to cover the camera away from the people because there are some people out there in the world who do not like having their face shown on camera. Even though that I did get some people on camera, I tried my best to try to not show them way too much. Because, you know, what I said, there are people who don't like to be on camera.
distance. I also did a store tour in Macy's, mostly because it was closing too. And we're getting a quick close-up of the entrance in a moment. Fixtures, furniture, and equipment for sale. Make the right move! Make the right move! You gotta live to the rhythm you choose. Make the right move! Oh yeah! Make the right move! You gotta know your clothes are in the groove. For fashion that's hot, nothing that's not. The right move is Macy's Young Men's Action Shop and Juniors. Well, you didn't really do the right move. Is there something with that commercial? Alright, so this store used to be a Birdines, just like every other Florida Macy's chain. So, Mom, what was it like when this was the Birdines? I really like this Birdines. This was one of my favorite Birdines. I liked it even better than the Birdines at Broward Mall. Um, I always bought a lot of clothes here. I shopped here with my mom also. And uh, it was my favorite store, I think, in the mall. Wow. It's unbelievable. Now, uh, it became Macy's in 2005. What happened? I think when it became Macy's, it kind of went downhill. Um, I didn't really like this Macy's. And um, I missed for dimes. Yeah. And when I talked to different people, like when I talked even to my brother, he, he said he liked that for dimes. I know my mom liked that for dimes. Yeah. I know that there's a second floor. All right, so this is the store's elevator. I will say though, from the way that the doors looked, it was a little scary. Because, you know, you can see that they're beaten up, right? I guess. It's not the way it was before. Yeah. And now a little quick look at this elevator's interesting looking capacity plate. Looks old. Definitely something you would see in the 70s. Thanks. question. Were you sad that Birdines was bought by Macy's in 2005? I was sad because I really liked Birdines. Birdines was my favorite and although they're both similar, um, yeah, I, I still preferred Birdines. So yeah, it made me a little sad. It's also my childhood because I remember from my childhood. Now it's gone. Mm. A lot of stores are gone that I used to remember. Yeah. Uh, wasn't Birdine's beach themed? Somewhat. That's what you tell me. <laughs> I guess so, because of the palm trees. But I don't really remember it as like that. I guess it was. Maybe those were added in when it became Macy's. I don't think the palm trees were there before. And this pillow is my favorite. You see, with the little... Um, what do you call those? Those are toss pillows. Toss pillows that say sleep on it. It's very cute with the little cursive on it. And this is the kids section right over here. And they also have a cool little gumball machine. Wait, you want it in? Yeah. This will remind me every single time of, uh, of, the, his, of the old uh, Dillard's at Broward when I got that gumball machine, you know? What's this one? I don't see any quarters. You don't see any quarters? Come on, 
Thank you. We got a red one. I knew it. <laughs> I don't like it, but I like pink. My tongue is going to be all blue now. Whatever. <laughs> we were all expecting her to like it, but instead, she didn't like it. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> Here we are approaching the Macy's offices. This is probably when it also has been a Burdines in these offices. Took a little view, didn't go in because I didn't want it to get kicked out because we weren't done filming yet. And here comes another reason for this dead mall thing. This bucket that uh, I believe that they used to catch um, water from the ceiling parts that has started to fall off. Well, it fell off, but they still had to keep the bucket under there to possibly catch water from the ceiling falling down. We didn't leave the store with this pillow that says sleep on it. I kind of wanted it because of the writing. To me, that was something I just found very interesting. And we're gonna take the escalator down. I was going to check the expiration dates, but uh, the certificate was upstairs, so I didn't check it. It was probably um, expired, just like the elevator. Although the elevator wasn't that bad of expiration dates, like the ones in the mall. Like, are you joking with me? And uh, here is the first floor of the store. and. I wanted to go see the certificate if there was any right here, but I did see it upstairs. I didn't see it down here. They should have one down here too. And uh, here's a little look at this. It says that all sales are final, which is obviously true. This way is the men's section. This would be my section that I would dress up in. But I guess not anymore because the store is gonna be gone. And a quick view of what we're gonna see is, yes, that. Technically, I wouldn't film a mannequin's breast, but I guess maybe I'll let it slide because we walked by it, even though it's a little inappropriate for my age. And now we're getting a quick look at the shoe section, and I just noticed this. I saw this, like, interesting looking number that I never see. Um, ever. 
probably in any Macy's. But I guess maybe that's that's what it would have been when the store was liquidating. Is uh, those numbers where they were just printed out in white, maybe. kind of end off the store tour, we got the women's section. I also was thinking to myself that maybe my mom wanted something here before it closed, but it's kind of sad to say that I don't think she got anything really much. Although, I really do like this wedding dress. It's very cute. And uh, I guess maybe these were the wedding dress sections. And uh, the jewelry section is also down here too. Now we're walking back outside to the mall entrance. This was your first ever Burdines, right? Yeah. And now it's gone. Mars World Tour. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and uh, my mom, please also thank her too for being in this video. You're welcome, it was my pleasure. Also I will uh, accept requests for malls in the area if you want me to film them. Also have an awesome February 29th. I will see you guys later. Bye everyone!